So if you guys have watched my other video, I always start out with my um, skincare routine, which is my cucumber spray and my uh, Mario Basandu skincare hydro moisturizer, just to kind of moisturize my face before I start actually doing my makeup. So I'm just going to go ahead and start off with my foundation, which is my MAC Studio Fix Fluid. Um, in the shade uh, NW13 and I'm just gonna dabble that onto my sponge here and I'm just gonna start blending it. Next, we are going to go in with our Tarte Shape Tape and just highlight uh, underneath the eyes, on the nose, and forehead. done, we're going to go ahead and move on to highlighting and contouring or the baking and the contouring process. So I'm going to go in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, bronzer. It's in the shade Rosewood. And I'm going to take my Jeffree Star contour brush and I'm just going to dab in there. And then I'm just going to start here and kind of work down on both sides. And I'm going to do it here on my nose and then on the top of my forehead and from here all the way around. And then I'm going to go in with my other Jeffree Star um, uh, JS4 brush. I'm going to take my Airspun uh, setting powder and apply that underneath my eyes on the, uh, the bridge of my nose. And here and here. I'm not really sure what that part of your face is called, but... I'm just going to let that set. So while we wait for that to set, um, I'm going to go ahead and start with my eyebrows. And uh, I'm going to take my Jeffree Star. Uh, where is that long hair again? Get out of here. Anyway, I'm going to go in with uh, my Jeffree Star eyebrow um, brush and my Anastasia dip pomade in the shade Blonde.
And always remember, your eyebrows are sisters, not twins. I just realized I was blocking the camera, I'm sorry. All right, and now that we are done with eyebrows, I'm going to go ahead and blend out all of this uh, with just a big poofy, sp uh, big poofy brush and then um, we will get started on the eye look. And sometimes I like to take my uh, MAC Studio Fix foundation. Um, it's a little bit lighter than what I actually am to kind of keep it where you can still see your contour. Sometimes I like to take this if it, the car contour is too harsh and I just kind of put it over it. That way it kind of blends it out. Also, that way it's not so drastic that it's like, oh my god. But you don't want to put too much because then it takes away all your hard work. Now we're gonna move on to eyes. So the look that I have inspired for today, um, I'm gonna to be using a lot of different palettes. Um, I'm gonna be using the Blue Blood from Jeffree Star, the Alien palette as well, and also the James Charles palette as well. So we've got lots of stuff to play with today. So we're going for more of a smoky um, fairy tale look. So well, I'm going to take my Morphe Jaclyn Hill JH30, uh, I believe. Yeah, 30 brush. And I'm gonna go in with the shade Power from Jeffree Star's Blue Blood. And I'm just gonna kind of lightly put that in the corner and bring it up and around. That's how wide I am, <laughs> if y'all didn't notice. And just kind of bring it down a little bit too. You know, not a whole lot, just a little bit to kind of help blend it out. And then next, we're going to go in with the shade Blue Monday, also from the Jeffree Star palette, which is right here. It's got the little storm cloud on it, which I think is super cute. Um, and honestly, like, Blue Blood has, like, I was kind of disappointed, like, how long it took for me to get Blue Blood. But when I actually got it, it was totally worth it. I really have enjoyed playing with it and creating all kinds of cool looks with it. Um, it's definitely a very blue palette, but um, honestly, it's really good quality. Um, and also, I'm going to take this that purple, that uh, blue Monday. It, it's more of a like a blurple color, kind of like a lighter shade of indigo, maybe. Um, or maybe a little extra purple added to Periwinkle. Um, I know some of you are like, what are you talking about? <laughs> it's the artist in me, sorry. All 
All right. And then next, we're going to go in with the shade Area 51 from the Jeffree Star Alien palette, which is a, like a, it's a darker, it's a darker purple, but it's, um, it's not as, it's not black. Like, it's, it's a brighter, I guess. So I'm just going to add that right here in the corner. And then we're just going to blend it out. And then we're going to add some to the bottom. you hate when you get your brush in your eye? That always feels great. All right, and next we're going to go in with the shade I Am Cold from Blue Blood. And we're just going to add a little bit up here just to kind of blend this harsh color out. Right now we're going to go in with a smaller brush um, like this and we're just going I'm going to take my Jeffree Star palette or excuse me, my Jeffree Star my James Charles palette and we're going to use this purple shade here and we're just going to go underneath the lash on the waterline just like that Now we're going to go back in with a, another smaller, this is my Jeffree Star um, JS6 brush, and we're going to take uh, Blue Monday again and just add a little more to this corner just to kind of define that. You kind of want to bring it out to a wing, just like that. Sometimes you have to be careful um, if you have if you're like me and you have two different sized eyes, you really have to be careful how much product you put on one side and the other because sometimes you'll come out looking like a raccoon and nobody wants that. It's all about blending. The more you blend, the better off you'll be. And just kind of take that purple color and blend it into the purple color that we have on the bottom. And now I'm going to take Blue Blood again and I'm going to go in with Cremated with a little bit of Blue Monday. So I'm going to go ahead and just dab into that and then dab into Cremated. Tap my brush and just, just like this. Gives it a more defined Alright, and now it is time to move on to eyeliner and mascara. So I'm going to go in with my NYX liquid liner and I'm just going to 
Good on tomorrow, Lana. Now I'm going to go in with my NYX, um, now I'm going to go in with my uh, black NYX um, eye pencil, uh, it's just the jumbo eye pencil, and I'm just going to take it and put it on my lower waterline. And then I'm going to take my uh, Tarte um, Tartius uh, Mascara and just swipe on my mascara. Face expressions are made. Alright, and now while we let our mascara dry, I'm going to go ahead and use my Morphe Set Spray and just kind of set all this before we move on to the next step. You know, I've used a lot of uh, different uh, set sprays and stuff, and honestly, the two I prefer is this, the Morphe, and I also prefer the Urban Decay um, all nighter. It's in a purple bottle. Um, I'm sure you guys know what I'm talking about. And if not, I promise I will try to get a link or something. So you guys know what I'm talking about, but, uh, I prefer those two other set sprays that I've used. They just almost melt off my makeup and which I'm not really crazy about that idea. So always really good to fan yourself and let your set spray dry because if you don't let your set spray dry um, you can smear or uh, if you're like me and you get impatient you can really like wipe off some of your foundation eyeshadow can be replaced foundation is a pain to try to reapply when you've already had everything else on top of it on we're gonna go ahead and put some blush on so I'm going to be using my Mac um, mineralizing blush powder and my Jeffree Star blush brush and I'm just gonna kind of do that get some pigment on there and just apply it right here not too much just enough and then I'm gonna put a little bit on my nose because who doesn't like a pink nose? All right, and then now we are gonna go in with highlighter. So since I'm doing a more purpley uh, fantasy look today, um, I'm gonna go in with my Aurora Anastasia Beverly Hills highlighter palette, 
with the shade Spectra and Luna. I'm just going to kind of mix them together and apply it about here and all the way around. Here and all the way around. I really love this highlighter. It's a very nice highlighter. Um, it's not too um, chalky, or honestly, it's not even chalky at all. Um, it's the formula is really great. Um, it goes on really nicely. Like some highlighters you buy, you can spend, <laughs> Lord knows, fifty dollars on a highlighter, and you take your finger across the top of it and then there's no more highlight and this one I've had this one for almost a year and a half and um, it's worked really well for me I also prefer anything Jeffree Star um, and no this is not sponsored by Jeffree Star or anything like that I just enjoy his products uh, so far the Siberian Gold's been my favorite um, I have tried a few other ones that some friends have had and um, they're really really nice uh, in really decent size. I mean, this is how big it is. I mean, that's compared to my hand. That's how big it is compared to other um, products. And they're really decently priced, too. Like, they're not $40 a highlighter. So I'm going to uh, prep my lips um, with the Jeffree Star Velour Lip Scrub in the flavor Blue Freeze. Um, I'm not really into, I never really, well, I, I didn't really like lip scrubs until I had this one because a lot of them were too uh, lip glossy and this is actually just a scrub, which I really like and they taste so good. It literally tastes like a blue raspberry slushy that you can get from like Sonic or um snow cone jack or you know whatever like, it's so good and I just take that rub it all over and just kind of almost like I'm putting lipstick on and you can just lick it off A little extra but it makes your lips really really soft and really feeling fresh and clean and ready for lipstick so I'm gonna go ahead and pop on my lashes and I'll go ahead and show you guys how I put on my lashes because I've had a few of you ask me hey you know why don't you do a tutorial about your eyelashes well I'll just go ahead and show you how to do them now and I'll just continue to show everybody how to do them because it took me a long time to figure out how to do this. So I just take my lash glue and my lash and I just uh, put a really decent amount on there all the way from the one side to the other and then around on the top. And make sure to put extra on the ends because those dry, those seem to dry the fastest apparently and they're the hardest to set in place. Um, So what I'm going to do, let me my mirror, um, I'm just going to, I'm going to lean forward so you guys can hopefully see, um, and I'm going to just put that lash on top of my other lashes and kind of adjust it before you really set it down. And then I'm going to, I'm going to look down because when you look down, it seems it's easier for me to do it. And I'm going to take my little tweezy thing that came with my lash thing. Or that came with um, a pair of lashes that I've had before. And I'm just going to take that and push my lash down. So that it will set. And that's it. That's all I do. And I just kind of look down and let it dry. 
you can blow on it too, but I usually, I've figured out that if I put one coat on, let it sit for a few seconds, put another coat on, let it sit for a few seconds, I don't have to wait as long and I don't have to be like onto it. So, but that's how I put on my lashes. I'll go ahead and stop talking and do the other one so that way you guys can see what the hell I'm doing. Sometimes I feel like I talk way too much. <laughs> And it's really nice to sit here with you guys and just do my makeup and have fun and not have to worry about, you know, people judging me. I mean, of course there's people that are going to judge me because obviously I'm bigger. Um, I have short hair. Sometimes I look like a man. Half the time I look like a potato, um, but whatever. But I really enjoy sitting here with you guys and just playing with my makeup. Um, I said I was going to stop talking, and then here I am, still talking. <laughs> Whatever. We'll just put this lash on. And I'll leave it in a little bit. And that is how I put my lashes on. All right, and now we're going to move on to lipstick. So I have the Jeffree Star Velour Liquid Lip. Um, it is in the shade Deceased. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and apply it. Okay, and now we are going to move on to my most exciting news for the day. So, in this bag, um, if you guys saw my Instagram or my Twitter, um, I had a little guest game of um, what do you think my next video is going to be about. So, basically everything was kind of centered around this beautiful new wig. And um, I get these off Amazon. It was like $37, I believe. Um, it's Chris, Chrisma, Chrisma, I believe. Yeah, Chrisma. Um, wonderful, wonderful wigs, uh, beautiful colors, um, beautiful quality. I have three of these wigs now. I have two more on the way. Um, but this is my purple, um, black and purple, wig so I'm going to pop this baby on and I will be right back so this is the final look um, what do you guys think um, I was kind of going for a galaxy um, sparkly just just not a natural like a fun um, maybe a Halloween look because um, I love Halloween um, Halloween is every day for me, so what do you guys think? I want to thank you guys so, so much for coming and hanging out with me today. And if you haven't already, uh, subscribe and hit the little bell button uh, next to it, so that way you guys know when um, new videos come out. 
and also uh, don't forget to give this uh, video a thumbs up and I can't wait to see you guys in the next video.